Hello everyone, this is Aaron McDonald, Technical Support Manager for Pangolin Laser Systems. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to set up a PM Attenuation Map, or BAM for short, inside our QuickShow software. While we will be using QuickShow for this demonstration, the same principles shown here also apply to our Beyond and LD2000 software programs. First, let me explain what a beam attenuation map is and how you might use it in your laser show. As we know, lasers are a beautiful effect, but they must be controlled safely. The beam attenuation map is a safety tool inside of Pangolin software that allows you to reduce your laser output within a specified area. The BAM is primarily used to reduce laser output when projecting beams into an audience area, or audience scanning. It is just one of the many safety tools we offer here at Pangolin. The BAM can also be used in cases where you have sensitive equipment nearby that you do not want exposed to high power laser output, for example a video projector or camera. The BAM is configured like a map so that you can specify specific areas where you want laser output and you can also specify the output power within those specified areas. The BAM is very customizable and easy to use. To set up a BAM in Quick Show, you first go into the Projection Zone settings under the Settings button at the top of the Quick Show interface. Click the Beam Attenuation Map tab. A safety notice will appear for you to read. Click OK to close the notice and open the BAM settings. Click the checkbox to enable the BAM. Choose the desired attenuation percentage. 40% beam attenuation map will allow 40% of the laser output in the mapped area, which is turning the laser power down by 60%. Then choose the method of drawing your map. I usually choose the rectangle drawing tool. Draw the area of the map you want. In this demonstration, we will pretend we are at a venue where the laser beam will be projected into an audience area and as such we will want to reduce the laser output in those crowd areas accordingly. Please note, while we will be using audience scanning as the example in today's tutorial, we will only be demonstrating how to set up a beam attenuation map from within our software. Setting up a BAM is one small item in a list of laser safety procedures that must be completed before audience scanning is performed with a live audience. We will not attempt to discuss the various other laser safety procedures involved in setting up a safe audience scanning laser show in today's tutorial. Please consult with your local certified laser safety officer or LSO to make sure your laser safety process assures no laser output entering an audience area is higher than your local defined maximum permissible exposure or MPE limit and conforms to your local laws. Again, we will only be demonstrating how to set up a BAM within our software. We will not attempt to discuss the various other laser safety procedures involved in setting up a safe audience scanning laser show in today's tutorial. To see the area you have mapped out in laser, turn your laser on and click one of the two test patterns next to the zone you identify you are working with so that your laser displays the test pattern. You should now see the beam attenuation map reflected in your laser output. If your laser is not attenuated enough, you can go back to the BAM settings, choose another attenuation level, and draw your map accordingly and see it in the laser. Click OK to close the projection zone settings. At this point, your beam attenuation map is set although it will not show up in the Quick Show Preview window until you make a configuration setting change. To view the BAM in the Preview window, you will go into the Configuration Settings, again under the Settings button at the top of the Quick Show interface. Click the Laser Preview tab, and then put a checkbox in the Apply Zones Beam Attenuation Map option. Click OK to save these settings. Now when you click a Q, you will see the beam attenuation map ref reflected in the preview window. This concludes today's tutorial. To recap, we've explained what a beam attenuation map is, what you can use it for, 
and how to set up a simple BAM to protect an audience area or sensitive equipment. If you have any further questions about beam attenuation maps, or if you need anything else, please feel free to contact us at any time. We're happy to help.